welcome to another episode of How To on the How To channel. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a YouTube channel art. Now, I've made this video before, but I've been getting a lot of questions lately because YouTube has changed some things. And I just want to clarify it all and go into a little bit more detail so people will know exactly what they need to do when they do their channel art. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to click on YouTube. From here, we want to click on My Channel. From here, we want to click on the little pencil right here in the top right corner of your channel art, or your banner. Now we're going to click on Edit Channel Art. Now we want to move down here where it says How to Create Channel Art. We're going to click on that. Now, as you can see, if you've been on this page before, it's a little different. We're going to scroll down and you see where it says channel art templates? Well, we're going to click on that. It's going to download them for us. Your downloads are going to go on your browser. I'm on Google Chrome, so they're going to be on the bottom left. Okay, now that we've downloaded it, we're going to right click. We're going to click locate or show in folder. Okay, there it is right there. Now we're going to extract that file and we're going to put it on the desktop. So we're going to click extract all. This window is going to pop up right here. We're going to browse, and we're going to make sure it goes onto the desktop. We're going to click OK, and I'm going to extract it. OK, now it's on our desktop. You can see here's our desktop. Now, as you can see, there's the Photoshop template. So if you're using Photoshop, this is the one you would use. Now, here's your channel art template, Fireworks. This is the one we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a website called PickMonkey.com. Now, if you see my last video, you know exactly how to get to pickmonkey.com. It's just picmonkey.com. So we're going to go there. And I will put the link to, the, to this website in the description. Okay, we're going to want to click on edit. Now we want to make sure we go to the desktop because that's where we put our folder. So there's the desktop. And look, there it is, Channel Art Fireworks template. So we're going to click on that one. So this is your template. From here to here is what's going to be seen. Your picture is going to come down here and block it if you're on a desktop. Now if you're on a phone, the mobile is going to stop from here to here. So what I like to do is I like to click on right here where it says overlays. And we're going to click on geometric. I'm going to click on this one right here, this rectangle. And the reason why I do this is because I'm going to make myself a little barrier to guide me. It's like little guidelines here. And you want to make it just line it up there. And then we're going to right click it, we're going to click duplicate overlay, and we're going to move it down further, and we're going to put it right there. Now we're going to click on another one here, it's going to be this small, we're going to put it right here, and we're going to duplicate that one as well. So you're going to right click it, duplicate overlay, we're going to move this one right here. Now the reason why I do that is because this is where you want your picture to be seen, all this right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on effects and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom to where it says draw. So you'll see little pencils. See where it says draw? We're going to click on that. We're going to make this as big as we can where it says brush. And we're going to click the left button and hold it down and just erase everything behind. Now it's all gone. Now we're going to click apply. Okay, now we have this, this is our barrier. This is what's gonna be seen in our channel art. So now we wanna put stuff in there. So I'm gonna put some overlays in there. So I'm gonna click on your own. And I'm gonna go through my pictures. I'm gonna find one that I like. So let's find one here. Let's use this one here. Let's use this one right here. Now we're gonna put it right there. We are going to click right here and make it bigger, okay, and we're going to set that right here in the middle. Now a cool thing that we can do here is you can mess with the blend modes, which is which just kind of does its own thing here, you can do different, it's highlight, maybe subtract, make it a negative basically, but no, we're going to keep it the same, normal. You can fade the picture in and out to where you kind of see the background behind it. Now we're going to click eraser, and if you have a wheel button on your mouse, you can zoom in, and we're going to
you're going to start erasing around my picture here. Get rid of all this stuff. And really, it's not that hard. Like, if you do mess up, like I just did just now, you can push Control Z and it'll bring it back to what it was. Now I'm going to make the eraser size bigger so it's easier. Make the brush a little bit smaller. And then erase all this stuff in the corners here. Now that we've got the picture the way we want it, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add something else. Now I'm going to go through a little a couple of these things with you. Now you have basic edits where you can crop the picture, canvas color where you can change the color of the background. Now I don't want it like that so I'm going to keep it white. Make it transparent. Okay, you can rotate the pictures if you want. We don't want to do that. Exposure, you can make it brighter. You can auto adjust everything. Now we don't want to do that cancel. Sharpen it. Of course, I already showed you what effects are. Touch up. You want to fix blemishes. You want to airbrush some stuff. And you've got here where you can add writing. I myself, I like to use eraser dust. We'll, we'll center it. And we'll change the color. Let's go with red. Or you can actually click right here. Pick a color out of the, out of the picture. So now it's going to go with my facial colors or whatever. We're going to type in, right, we're going to put, we're going to click off that and we're going to put it over here. Now two and more. And you can always click on it again and change anything you want, except for like bold and italic and stuff. It doesn't want you to do that. If you want to make it bigger, you click right here and you pull it down or up. It's smaller. You can pull it this way and it'll make it wider. Now that we've got our text in there, we can go to add overlays again. And they have so much cool stuff that you can use in here. Like we just use geometric. The cool thing about geometric is I'm, I'm just going to show you a little bit here. This one right here, we can actually go like this, bring it over this way. And then you see right here where it says color one and color two. You can click on the color two and click transparent and the middle will disappear. And then you can change the color of color one to whatever you want. You can click on here and just pick a color at random. So you can pick the same color as here and it'll be orange. And bam. Now it's around your writing. You can add hearts. They have all different types of stuff in here. You can add different types of hearts. Now this one right here won't let you it won't let you use this one because um, that's a feature for people that pay for the site. Now we can add stars. Let's put a star in here. Now this is what I was talking about here. Like I'll put a star on myself. We'll change it to a different color, like that right there, and we'll fade it. So now see how you can see myself in there? I mean, you can make it go all the way fade. You can add symbols. You know, like rated R superstar here. Dog paws. Put that on my face. You can make it bigger, smaller by clicking there. If you click right here on any one of your overlays, you can turn it sideways. We're going to make it smaller and we're going to put it on my face. So it looks like I got a tattoo. Now, of course, you could fade that too. If you fade it, it might look like it's actually real. So you can still see some of the skin. Okay, looks like I got a pop right on my face. You can add flames. So cool stuff like that. I mean, there's endless stuff you can do. You can add facial hair if you want to. I can give myself a mustache or a beard. Let's give myself a beard. And then, like, see how it's not the right way? We'll turn it to the side a little bit. There we go. Now we'll make it a little bit smaller. Bam. We can do hats. But, you know, like, cool stuff like that. But we're going to delete that. Now, textures. This is for your background. Now, they do have textures in here that you can use, um, which is basically your background. Now, you can do something like this. You have a cool texture there. 
So what we're gonna do now that we have this texture on here, we're gonna go find our own texture. So we're gonna click right here and click on new tab. We're gonna click on layout. We're gonna click on images. We're gonna click on backgrounds here. This is how I like to do it. Some people do it differently. We're just gonna pick on something random here. Let's go with uh, this one right here. Okay, it looks, it looks all right. So we'll click view image. Click on the picture. Let's go uh, open image and new tab. Okay, there's our picture here. We're gonna right click and we click save image as. We're gonna save it to the desktop. Now, this is what I like to do. Click on overlays. Scroll up to the top, click your own. Now we're gonna find our background image. And if it's not showing up on here, there's a little downer over here next to cancel. You can click on that, click all files, and every single file will pop up. This is the one we were gonna use here. So we're gonna click on it right there. And what we can do is, since it's in front of everything, that's not what we want. We want it to be behind everything. We're gonna right click it and click send to back. That means it's the last one that's gonna be showing. So now we're gonna click it right here. We're gonna leave it right there. We're gonna make it as big as everything else. Okay. Now you see how everything is here? Now we're gonna fade it. And the background texture that we already have is gonna show through. Which makes it look kinda cool. And we'll go a little bit further or back. I mean, see the, there's the background image as you're fading it. You can still kinda see the things behind it and it kinda adds a little bit more contrast to your picture. So now that we got this here, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these little guidelines that we have here and we're gonna get rid of them. Now we're gonna click on these ones right here and we're gonna right click them and click delete. Delete. The reason why we're deleting them now is because we don't need them there anymore. So bam, this is what's gonna be seen on my channel art. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click save. Okay, now we're gonna save it to our computer. We're gonna save it to the desktop, of course. And I only save it to the desktop so it's easier to get to. Now that we've got that, we're gonna come back over to our page and where it says, select a photo from your computer, click on that. We're gonna to go to the desktop. We're gonna find our channel art that we made. We're gonna click on that. Now, if you wanna take a look at it, you can click adjust to crop and you can see what's gonna be seen here and as it's already in the right spot because we use the template. Now we click OK and this is what's gonna be seen. Now we have a new channel art. And there we have it, there's our channel art. Now if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down at the bottom. And I hope this video helps you out better than the last one. I know the last one's a little outdated, so I'm hoping this one works out a lot better for you. Now I try to answer everybody's questions as much as possible. So if I, if I miss your comments, I'm very sorry. Um, you can always send me a message. I do answer those too. And I just hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.